What up, people? This is Vigilante for Two Minutes and Some Change. That's 2MASC. Then you know it's me, the original Two Minutes. I was thinking, having a debate with one of my friends, I was thinking about, we hear the word coon. I've used it a couple times. Sometimes I don't like using it because, ah, unless it's Stephen A. Smith. Um, But can a coon uncoon? And who has the authority to say what's a coon and what's not a coon? Traditional, we hear about Uncle Tom. Dre Mack kind of taught us about the real Uncle Tom. So we hear sellout. We hear hater. We hear coon a lot. Coon is the word now we're using. Coon. But can a person uncoon? Can a person that supposedly don't see the light and sell his people out, can he get redemption? Can he be Danny Glover at the end of the movie of Color Purple? (laughs) So I always wanted to know that. What are the rules of if you're a coon, can you uncoon? You see what I'm saying? Like a person used to be a drug dealer. He stopped selling drugs and doing things. He used to be a drug addict. He stopped um, doing drugs. Can a person uncoon? That's the thing I want to know. Can you uncoon? Because I think, man, I think you can. Because if you're out there preaching to people about how they need to wake up, then you're saying to yourself, that you need to wake up and see who you are. That's why you're cooning. But then you got certain segments saying there's no way. Once you're a coon, you're always a coon. In some people's eyes. So what are the rules of cooning? And can you uncoon? Or is cooning a permanent scarlet letter on you? That you will always look look like a coon. And is that hypocritical? If a person turn their life around. And also... Could it be cooning if you don't support your people? Didn't think about it that way, did you? If you don't support your people and you're not going out to help your community and you're selling drugs in your community and you're hurting your community, making your neighborhood feel like making people in your neighborhood feel like you're a terrorist because they're scared to go out. They're scared they may get shot or robbed. Would that be considered cooning too? Because think about it, you know, what we say of a coon is a person that sell out their people and and benefit off their people, you know, for the white man, so to speak. But when you look at it, if I'm terrorizing my neighborhoods, I'm selling drugs to my sisters and brothers. Ain't that selling out to your people who put the drugs there, right? Who puts who put the guns there, right? If you're killing your brother. You see, when you start looking at that word coon, it's easy to say it, but it's hard to break it down. Because if you do, you might have to look in the mirror. Just saying, just saying. This has been vigilating for two minutes and some change. I wanted to know, can you uncoon or are you coon for life? Out.